Okay, now for some inverter stack troubleshooting. So we're connected in the back. All the batteries are connected now. That's here. And we try to turn them on. So the directions are to make one of these the master and the rest of them slave in terms of the phase, the phase between the inverters. So when they're stacked, they have to be in phase. Directions state that the, the positive and negative set of each of the inverters have to be connected, so they are through this, through this set of plugs. And the phase cables are all connected as well. Now I set the top one to be the master, and you set it through this little switch, little toggle that's between S and M. So this is on M for master. All these are slave inverters. Okay, the directions are to turn on the power on the slaves. So power one, power two, Look at that. What's wrong there? Okay. Next power. Mm, that keeps going. Keeps beeping. And now this one keeps beeping. That's good. Okay, now that's the main, main inverter. It says to turn it on last. So here I go. Light turns red. Okay, now this one turned red. This one keeps beeping. So, let's see, let's try turning it off. Turning it back on. Keeps beeping. So, troubleshooting people. Uh, anybody know about this? Let me know. Uh, I can't get this one to stop beeping, and, and red is probably not good. The instruction manual is not so thorough, but this one keeps beeping. So, turn it off. See, like, there's something wrong here. can get it to go. Uh, maybe it's the ground, because I still don't have the ground connected. Uh, but the batteries are all connected well. The power's, power goes on for the inverters. I just don't know what happens. Well, let's try it again. So turn on all the slaves right there. See, that one keeps beeping for some reason. And then the master. Nope. Still the same problem. So if anyone knows the solution to this, please let me know. I would appreciate it. I'm going to start welding with 12.5 12 12, 12 kilowatts of power. That's what we have right here, continuous, and 25 kilowatts max. So that's some serious power right here from these two forklift batteries. Now let's see if we can go off-grid on this for major industrial power.